Okay, we're doing Water Island. A surprising amount of people wanted it, so we're doing it. And all around. we'll get to that because cool? because uh, what is your opinion on Water Island Tweedle? How did you forget what Tweedle did on this island? I told you it was yeah, stupid. Yeah, how did you forget how mundane it is? <laughs> mundane. Okay. I, I think Tweedle, like, is alright on this island, but I think the mix of Tweedle and Toe Jammer together is really bad and hurts my ears a lot. <laughs> it's just like, you're just, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, Oh, I want this nice underwater experience. Oh no, you're drowning. <laughs> it sounds like it's a lot like the Galvana experience where with headphones it just sounds like a powerful sine wave. It's just hurting your ears. But I don't even know if that's Tweedle's fault or Toe Jammer's fault or just them together. I'm gonna I say, fine. I'm gonna say Tweedle simply because Tweedle has a history of having bad pitch. It's definitely both of them together. I'm like on I I know on their own they don't sound that they don't sound as bad. But together they could genuinely just get a shared spot in the bottom three. I wouldn't go that far. There's some monsters on this island. Honestly, Tweedle's composition on this island is absolutely amazing. However, it is not <laughs> Imagine if that was on like a glockenspiel or like a violin or something. That would be epic, but no, it's on high pitch shrilled tweedle. <laughs> and it's like, please, that's not as good as it should be. Uh, okay, that's fair. What was it on in the medley? Because I know that part was in the medley. Uh, I think it was on violin brain... or viola. Not. Nah. In the medley, I think it was an oboe. Oh, yeah, but that makes sense. F zero clue. Rudy to Tweedle. <laughs> Alright, that's Tweedle. What about the uh, other bird monster on this island? Cybop. I mean, can you really call Cybop a bird? Uh, He's the air element, and every air double is a bird. Fair enough. Let's talk about Cybop. Wait, that was a non sequitur. I didn't think we'd do that. Well, too Plus bad. Cybop is okay. You don't. He's the most basic. Come what on, do you want me to say about it? It's the most <laughs> what's basic wrong sequitur. with a shubada do bop ba do dow? Absolutely nothing wrong, but it's the most like, oh yeah, bro. This is Cybop, I guess. It's the most. It is the most mid sound in all of MSM. <laughs> I like it when it goes from only the first half to both halves of the part when it goes to like the percussion verse. I did that. That's the only thing that makes it not mid is the fact that it's actually decently composed. Okay, that's me. That's true, but at the same time, something that I noticed really recently, if you listen really closely, you can tell, like, because it's it's just two set, it's just like two separate tracks. So it's a shoe bada doom bomb ba doom down, and a second track that's a shoe bada boom. But if you listen really closely, you can tell it was all recorded in one go, and they cut it in half, and they did not cut it very well. <laughs> you can just hear a shoe bada doom bomb ba doom down. <laughs> like, it, just listen really closely, it's definitely noticeable. I would do that, but that would require me to go get it up. And you know, that's like, the, for me, this slap up is like, it's, for Water Island standards, I'd say it's pretty pug, but for slap up standards, it's mid, like Ryan said. Yeah. Alright, that's fair. Also, I have to go do something before, after we finish talking about Tweedle, so did we talk about anyone between Tweedle and Cybop? No, we talked about Tweedle and Cybop. Okay, good. Uh, well then, what happens when you breed Tweedle in Cybop, uh, and you get rid of the air element, because it gets rid of itself, and it cancels itself out, no, and then you get your no, again. Well, everything is just in the back. Yeah. Yeah, and, bro. 
this is Noggin's best island without a doubt. I mean, it does a decent job at setting the tone. It does what Noggin usually does, which is pretty much mostly nothing. Listen, here's the thing. At least it's not Earth Noggin. Uh, no, Earth Noggin is Pog. What do you mean? Noggin, more like Poggin. I think I've made that exact joke for the Space Island one. And the Bone Island one. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Anyway, Listen. water noggin is whatever. It's not yeah, it's him. just oh boy, it's like talking about space congle. <laughs> you really like, wow, noggin, you really nailed those five notes. I like the sound fun it has on this island, though. I think it's this is well from the, for the natural islands, this is the best noggin sound fun in my opinion. What about Cold Island? You know, you make a good point. <laughs> uh, I was going to talk. I was going to be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, yeah. who's a better percussionist than Noggin? And then I looked at the list and I'm like, wow, Noggin's like one of the best percussionists on this island. Now, you want to know who's a better percussionist than Noggin? Sponge. Stop. Sponge. Okay, Scubs. Yeah, Scubs is a good one. Let's talk about Scubs. Mmm, you've pulled a, you've fast pulled this card already. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bone to give to Stog, because, not Stog, to Scubs, because this is very biased. <laughs> For the most part, Scubs is just like decently good but in my humble opinion uh scups shelby and the castle and the outdoor to water island on their own are like the best thing in all of them said i was at a bone to pick with scups yeah i said a bone to give to scups oh <laughs> it's like it's like, because it's like, you know, I got to throw him a bone for this one because Scups is super mega omega poggers as usual. You don't and throw bone to Scups. You throw a bone to Stog whenever Stog was going to each island and he went to Water Island. You're right. And then he gave, Stog gave his bone to Scups because Scups is that good on Water Island. Even though it's like, he's got two tracks. He's got the main track and then he's got the secondary track and the reedling verse. Actually, I don't know don't ever remember what Scups does on this island, because every single time I want to, like, try to remember what Scups is, I end up just doing Air Island instead. Then he has a... It's, like, very simplistic, but I really like it. I've got the rhythm memorized, and again, nothing pops Soft harder than shall be doing his <laughs> well Scops is doing his first track and the castle's going doom it just like goes so hard. I love that trio's t listen, here's the thing, you know this is not anything new either. If you want proof of this, go to my channel, scroll to twenty sixteen, and I upload a really poorly timed because I made it in Audacity without knowing anything about music. But I made the trio of Scups, the Castle, and Shelby. Alright, but what about Scups like rest of the song? Mm, he's pretty decent. I'd say he's if you if you really want to count him as percussion, he's probably the best percussionist on this island. I really love what he does. It's it honestly for the most part kind of gets covered up, but I, I also find it very noticeable at the same time. But it's definitely it's like it's scubs. You you don't expect it to like take a main melody or something out of nowhere. That's fair. I think scubs does a really good job of setting the tone for what Water Island's tone should have been. But we'll get to that later. But if you if you were just like remove half the percussionist and it was just noggin and scubs, then Scups would literally be like the best monster in all of existence. Wow, that's quite the praise for. I know what you're trying to say, but also it sounds like you're saying, yeah, if you removed every single monster from the game except Noggin and Scups, Scups would be the best monster. 
I mean, I mean that is correct. That is true. <laughs> you know, guys, hot take. I think that uh, if the only monsters that existed in all of MSM were a uh, frog on Water Island and n- n- Noggin on Cold Island, I think Quag would be the better track. <laughs> I, mean, I, I knew you were gonna say cold island. <laughs> it was either cold or earth. Yeah. Anyways, Scups. Honorable mention. But speaking of Fwag on Water Island. Alright, I gotta admit it. Fwag is the best monster on Water Island. And we all know why. Okay, so Scops on Water Island is is honestly the probably the, the definitive stuff. Fog. This is the definitive fog. When you think fog, Water Island fog is what fog is supposed. That's what he does best. That's it's definitely not peaks fog, but it's like base level exact. Like if you want to know, hey, what is fog as a monster? This is what you point to. However, despite it being a counter counter melody that like does transition, for some reason in the 2012 official Water Island remix, they have a Fwog solo and it pops off so hard. <laughs> like that sounds so stupid, but trust me, it's like genuinely amazing in my opinion. It's definitely worth a listen. Especially compared to the official Water Island remix. I mean, if you want to listen to it, don't you literally have it on your channel a bit? Yeah, I do. And I also have <laughs> MC Homer's Gold Island re- <laughs> remix, which also uses this Fwog solo. What about Fwog in game? Uh, it's alright. good. Like a bed said, it's basically the the Fwog standard. So, you know. This is what... Not breaking any mold. Listen, wa- listen, this Fwog walked so Bone Stog could, Fwog could run. Yeah, so Bone Stog could run. <laughs> I mean, Bone Fwog Stog Fwog. does run. Have you seen the trailer? You're right. Hey, now that we've talked about Fwog, let's talk about uh, a, a, another double element with the water element that for some reason does less than Fwog. Damn it. Side Quibble. <laughs> Quibble. Uh, oh, God. What even is Quibble? <laughs> what does Quibble do on this island again? Uh, okay, Four you know what Quibble does? <laughs> Quibble literally plays three notes. No, it's four. It's dun, 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 dun. Oh. It's literally just the chords. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Quibble is <laughs> nothing on this island. Why would you waste such a piano like that? Especially <laughs> on Water Island. What? <laughs> don't know and it's the worst part because if you listen okay this is a huge non sequitur by me but if you listen to this one cover of water island that's exclusively on piano it shows that water island is the most amazing song in all of msm and then having a high-pitched piano on water island would be the best thing ever but no it's just bass piano chords and it's the most boring 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 thing i've ever listened to in my life this is like the most heated you've ever gotten in Y7. It's over water listen, and quibble. Listen, here's okay. Here's the thing. Uh, I think this quibble would have been forgivable if they were like, "Oh, we need to make it that too, too much because uh, we want the song to be a very minimal song." You know, you know, fit the water island theme perfectly. Go dire, dire docks in this. Like, have everything minimal. Very few melodies, very few percussion, and they did like they had the perfect setup for all of that. And then afterwards, they just like they didn't do it at all. They just like, it's like okay, we need a simple setup because with quibbles doing the chords. And they were like, okay, now what if we had blab it? And <laughs> what is that our sequitur? 
it could be if you want to. I'm just saying, like, Bleb and like every other monster on the found is a clear example of like not following the theme in the slightest. Really. I mean, to be fair, is there anything else that really needs to be said about Quibble? Uh, no. yeah. <laughs> I love how that was like quibble on fresh. I love how quibble on the uh, quibble as a monster is like if they use it right, it's amazing, and then if they don't use it right, it's just missed potential. Like I don't think quibble's ever been bad; it's just been disappointing. For a second, I thought you were talking about blabbit, and then you were like, "Oh no, nah, bro! When they do blabbit right, it's amazing, but when they do it terribly, it's just lost attention." I'm like, "When has blabbit ever been amazing?" Yeah, no, my favorite blabbit's a uh, space island blabbit. Mine is new video. Yo, me too, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. We'll talk about blabbit and how blabbit is blabbit. The only reason this monster is even a thing at this point is because of the trailers that it's constantly in. Monster's dumb. It's ass. He it <laughs> That's Gold Island, not Water Island. <laughs> They're the same three. Listen, here's the thing. Blabbit is ass because it completely destroys all... Um, like intro ness of the song because the before Blabbit it was just Octopus, Quibble, and Shelby, I think, and then like some other progression. And Castle Base. Yeah, and then it was so it was Octopus solo, and then it went into Tweedle and Toe Jammer, and I'm like, bro, that's Pog. But then Blabbit came out and Blabbit just decided to <laughs> all over Octopus <laughs> and then just completely destroy all pacing of the song. Listen, here's the thing. Uh, it's okay because after they added Blabbit, they added Dipsters, which also play in the intro. Yeah, yeah so it, intro doesn't uh, exist anymore. Doesn't Blabbit? Uh, doesn't Blabbit play somewhere else in the song? Yeah, he plays yeah. in uh, the. Uh, Wait, I just read. You know? Oh my god! Oh my! You know what Blabbit on the island is? <laughs> they they literally just stole Punkleton's pacing. They went, hmm, Punkleton was a hit on <laughs> on Plant Island. What if we made Blabbit play exactly where Punkleton plays, but on Water Island instead? He plays in the intro, it goes to this main verse, and then at the end of the main verse, he comes back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, Blabbit plays where the wordos do the, it's all around, you know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like God. the worst verse. <laughs> yeah, Blabbit just is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I was just like thinking, like, huh, that doesn't sound right. You know, that it's all around. Sounds like it's in like the main verse. You know, not the. I mean, it is the main verse. But, like, I don't know. Like, it, it feels like it should not play there. And then I remembered. Oh right, it just sounds really bad because they decided to have like that. It's like it's like they have like the melody from before playing while also having a new melody just smashed on top with the dips they're doing dip 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 it's like well that's unrelated but that is yes that is when blabber comes back and it's not very good sounding oh blabber blabber was a train wreck monster blabber sucks dude I like I the even... monster itself because it's funny, and I like it in the trailers because it's funny. But this thing fucking sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. Also, rare or epic Blabbit being a jackalope is great. Yeah, but rare Blabbit is better. Yeah, because it's banana man. He's a banana. He's a banana slug. Yeah. Anyways, uh. We pretty much, it's, you know, it's kind of funny how when talking about Blabbit, we brought up every single other bad monster on this island. All right, I want to talk so, about, I want to talk about Dipsters because these are my least favorite Dipsters. Man, these Dipsters are fucking ass. Dip, 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 dip. Dip, 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 dip. dip, dip, dip. The fucking the track dip, that dip, plays in the uh. 
the, the I'm all no not that part the, it's all around just like the dip 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 like what the fuck dip 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 yeah and then afterwards yeah and then it has the funny thing as the and like the, for the second I really you know the pacing is so bad because it's like it's just simple dip 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 and they're like you know what if we mix that up for the second half it's like okay and dip 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 and it's like okay okay first half second half that's like basic structuring and they're like you know what this since verse lasts longer what if it looped and then went back to the went back to basics and then went back to the complex one and it's like sounded bad in the first place but why are you doing that it'd be like if you were like okay guys what if we had a quibble build up track it's like doing the four chords and then like a crazy second track and they're like okay and now to finish it off the, the basic track again and then back to the climax track it's just it's i forget what island did that i think it's like space island that we mentioned that or like no no it's Air Island. It's like the outro to Air Island with the weirdos. It just completely breaks the pace. <laughs> like, just, oh, build up. <laughs> then build up a second time, okay. And it's like, oh. and then afterwards, it's got, it's <laughs> really boring. It's like, bro, he has to do, the, has to follow along with Potbelly and Reedling. But, you know, it has to be quirky and do the off notes instead of the main notes. So dip 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 But like it's a lot louder than the other two. Ryan, do you have anything to add? Dipsters, like they're not the worst additions. Like, okay, these aren't the worst dipsters, but they're by far the most annoying and like badly written ones actually it's a lie because i forgot like firehaven existed but like it's just these tipsters are so <laughs> nothing what am i even supposed to even say they're just boring and terribly paced and <laughs> listen with most tipsters they're paced in like a fairly simple way that makes it easy enough to like not think about them but these are like the most annoying dipsters it's like the the best way to describe their notes is like pecking. It's like dip, dip, dip. it's like just pecking at you, like going constantly coming and going. And it's just like really annoying. It's like a child poking you with their finger. They don't even take any sort of melody. They're just there to just add unnecessary fluff to whatever their verse is. I hate these ones so much for like one reason, and that's the fact that Water Island was one of the only islands where octopus had a true solo, and it was, like, actual main focus. And then Dipsters were like, nah, bro, fuck that monster, he's too good. But Blabbit ruined it before Dipsters did. Well, Blabbit was like, okay, I'ma play with you or against you, but, like, I could <laughs> still focus on Octopus, because he's the one that starts it, and then he also is kinda louder. But then dipsters are like, what if we constantly just completely demand attention away from everything else? Dipsters really are the breaking point in MSM. When Rare Robox was added on, it's like, I think Blabbit is like Rare Robox on Plant Island. It was annoying, you didn't like it. It <laughs> covered up Octopus. It wasn't very good, but it was bearable. And then you throw a truckload of dipster tracks sprinkled annoyingly throughout the entire song and it it just collapses on its face except this time it didn't have wordos to try to pick it to try to pick the song back up and reshape it into something new with plant island they ruined it and they like did the best they could to fix it which still <laughs> ruined it since it was no longer the original composition which was classic with water island it wasn't in that important. It was something that was worth completely breaking apart and rebuilding. It had the potential to be great. And Dipsha just broke completely. So it's like, God, what are you going to do with this island now? And I think 
that's the segue to Weirdos, because that was their chance to pick up the pieces. Wait, wait, wait. There's one thing I'd like to say about the Dipsters, and it's a kind of good thing, actually. All right, what? You want to do? All right, okay. So, the Dipsters did one amazing thing that the Weirdos failed to do, and that's that they extended the song by, like, two minutes because of their amazing glitch that lasted, like, a year. What was it? Oh, don't you remember, Olivia? It's, we were joking about it earlier. It's like the glitch that just made the song. When the song finished the loop, it had the entire song play again, except only Dipsters. I did not know that was a thing. It was. It's like, literally, it's like the outro to Water Island would play, and then it'd just be silent, and then just dip, 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 dip. And it would play the entire song over, like, just having, like, 30-second spaces of complete silence, and then the Dipsters coming in. That's amazing. <laughs> so good. Yeah, and so we just have like the final track play and like a minute and a half of you know, probably like 30 seconds or 45 seconds of silence for the outro. And then the full song kicks in with like everyone like octopus, blah, blah, all that. It's like amazing. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure the dipsters were like ever so slightly different. I'm pretty sure it had like the remix dipsters. Nice. All right, now let's talk about weirdos. Um, this is um, listen a lot of times in the past like plant and air our biggest problem with the widows is them <laughs> messing up with <laughs> trying to fix what isn't broken well what is broken but failing and it's like, basically just like they extend the song to a terrible effect this was the one of two times where they needed to fix the song they needed to reassemble they needed to extend it and they did not at all. <laughs> yeah, but that's more of a that's more of a conceptual gripe. We're looking at compositional gripes. Oh, uh, I think okay. If we can put okay, if we can put Wordles at number one on both islands because they ruined the song, then I can then I think it's fair it's a fair gripe to say they had the chance to change the song and they didn't. So it's disappointing. I mean, fair. But how do they stand in the current version as is? They're still completely awful. Oh, yeah. Listen, here's the thing. You know the best way to just say it? It's like, here's the thing. Imagine Plant Island, but they just threw weirdos on top of everything without changing the composition. So it's like the song was a train wreck. And they were like, you know what? Let's throw more shit into the fire. And that's all that happened. More garbage was thrown into the flames that were underwater. Nothing happened. Nothing changed. The song just got ever so slightly worse. Well, hold on now. Uh, it, we have to talk about how Magpie isn't the worst, worst, worst thing now. Because it isn't like five voices that are off of each other. <sighs> But it's fine because now Magpie is just one of the five voices in every verse that it's in that clashes with everything. That's like that's like saying like that's like if someone went to jail for killing compliment. someone. No, it's like if someone went to jail for killing someone and then they got out of jail and then they shot someone again and then their defense was, Hey, at least they didn't die this time. <laughs> They're still alive in the hospital. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say that in an in defense to Magpie. I was still saying that Magpie is terrible. It's just people are gonna say, "Well, uh, honestly, in defense, Magpie isn't as awful as it was on Cold Island." Yes, congrat. Okay, congratulations, Magpie. Uh, you didn't outdo yourself in as as the worst monster in all of MSM. Snap, snaps for you, Magpie. Congratulations, you did a great job, Magpie. You. You, you did it. You didn't be the... You were somehow better than the worst track in the entirety of MSM history. How did you manage that? <laughs> yeah, but what, what about Parl Sona? Um, worst Parl Sona in all of MSM. I mean, yeah. You talk about Parl Sona, you talk about Magpie. They're the same thing. It's just... They are. They yeah. go as well together as Orange Juice and... Toothpaste. Yeah, I was about to say, okay, what about them together? And then that's where we get to the... 
you can't even like okay they're terrible okay here's the reason why they're terrible they're terrible because they're completely off pitch from each other and they do the same thing so they're not even like harmonizing it's completely boring and awful and they clearly didn't try with them because they didn't manage to extend the song and they're terrible and they are the most uninspired boring boring blah 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 but here's the thing I, I, I can be completely fine with that if, okay, you you have Cold Island, you mute Magpie, the song's five times better. If you mute either one of the wordos, the song is still completely atrocious as if they were still in the song because both of the wordos are flawed fundamentally in one way, shape, or form. So it's like, oh, again, time to mute both of them and they don't even exist. Yeah. I was part they of some them bring nothing flawed. to the table. I know how Magpie is flawed, but I was Parlsona flawed. Uh, okay, so you know the track Parlsona has where it's like a response off of Magpie, like at the beginning? Yeah. Right here I found where I belong. Somewhere in there, it, there's a foul note. I don't know exactly where, but it's... I'm pretty sure it's found. Right here I found... It's the eye. The eye is... The oh, yeah, the eye. And so it just completely destroys everything. Yeah, it's it's like yeah, and also it's like just a disappointing track overall to me, to be honest. Because like, it's like <sighs> you'd expect the you it would be just where I belong as the build up part, but in, so it'd be like, it's like right here I found where I belong, but instead it's just the same. It's just the same, like, slight rise both times. So it's the, just the dipstick issue. Where it's like, it builds up, and then it builds up a second time. And it's like, wow, that's boring. Honestly, I thought that, uh... I knew, I like, when Magpie came out, I knew that the first part was going to be a call and response thing. But I also honestly thought that the second track was also going to be a call and response, but, like, a faster one. As it is in game, just the really weird pause in the second track, I still think is just really jarring. Cause like that's just it's all around, and then just nothing. And to fear, I just don't like it. It's not even like a good composition for wordos. I mean, it's different, but like, there's so much potential that could have been had with that. But it was just. No, let's make it the same thing. Both of them are shrill. And as a monster, as just normal monsters, they're disappointing. But even as wordos, they're bad. Like if you like ignore all the issues, it's just oh, that's just the problem with wordos, like composition stuff and stuff like that. It's like the tracks themselves, like as wordos, fail because lyrically they're really, really boring and simple, which is not what wordos are at all. Okay, we'll name an island where the wordos the lyrics are interesting. Uh, they're not Earth. interesting, but like, Plant like Island is, is it Plant Air. I'd say Plant Air and Cold all are like, they're not interesting per se. Like, not like, a com okay, they're not compelling. That's what it is. They're not compelling. It's like, you're not going to hear, it's just a bunch of plants and be like, hmm, philosophy time. What does this mean? Like, it doesn't, like, no. But like, they are actual lyrics, you know? This feels like lyrics when it's someone on YouTube in 2008 making the lyric version of Trance 2009 <laughs> and just singing random stuff over top it. I'm right now, ooh, and yeah, that part is just the same thing two times in a row. It's, that's really boring. We barely even talked about the last track. I'm all right now. It's just like it's just, okay, it's the same composition two times in a row. Do 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 and then it happens another two times because and it's the same lyrics the second time because you know who needs to be interesting? And that's the end that's the end of their tracks. That's like think that's something that like it's like you don't even think about but like that's how that's the that's the weirdo's big outro on this island. Ooh, I'll make it somehow. Like I'll water. go with the flow like water, and then just water island outro. That's like so disappointing in every single imaginable way. <laughs> I also have to mention that uh, 
the very first note of that track that they play together is like the worst duet in the entirety of MSM. I think it's all around is worse than that though. Because you can I think, <laughs> Yeah, I agree with I think overall the problem the, the, these weirdos like audio wise they are all over the place. It's just like like I I listened to my on my them on my phone earlier today. And like on three separate times, they just randomly peek in the middle of a track. Like it's all around. Magpie's audio is awful quality. It's like they like it's like, it's so easy to fix. Like equalizers exist, <laughs> but no, I guess they really want you to feel that impact when my audio peaks and I hear it's around. <laughs> All right, are we done with the weirdos? We spent like fifteen minutes on them. Yeah, <laughs> these are probably the worst weirdos, simply because of how boring they are and disappointing. Other weirdos, like I can have fun at least discussing Plant Island weirdos or Magpie. These yeah. aren't the best. They aren't the worst. They're literally nothing. And with, not worth my with Plant, it's like okay. They they're fine with cold. It's like one's amazing, one's awful. With air, it's like they're at the very end, they're so amazing. they don't care. And then with yeah. water, it's like wow, yeah. both of these kind of low key, high key, low key suck balls. And then with earth, with earth, it's you'll find out when you guys vote earth. Yeah. And I... then with ethereal, no, and with. <laughs> Pyro Haven, Weirdos, what do you guys think of those? Hey guys, can you vote for Ethereal before they add Weirdos so I can place it higher than it will get with Weirdos? Thanks. No, please wait. <laughs> Listen, yeah, but with Ethereal rare... is not making it to S tier either way, so if it's not going to get there, no. might as well let it drop to C. Speaking of it. Ethereal, Geode. Rare Wobox. Geode. This is, I was about to say, this is Geo's best island. I was about to say, wow, there's only two islands that can beat for that. And that's not, it's not even its best island. What do you mean? Oh, uh, listen. Uh, I think, okay, composition-wise, this is more interesting than ethereal, I guess. But, okay, when does Geo play on ethereal island? The uh, intro and the outro, right? Yay. When, when does Geo play on this island? Tell me. Pinpoint me exactly where it plays. Like, g g g try to try to remember exactly where it plays. You know, uh, Tweedleverse. It, it Tweedleverse, and then it plays uh in the outro. I know that, and then it plays uh, that's it. That I know that's that's it. Tweedle and outro. What part of the Tweedleverse? The first half. Inning, like that whole verse. Yeah. Listen, I think Geode has a bigger impact on Ethereal Island. I mean, yeah. And that's why I think it's better. Well, what about... Listen, there's three Geodes. Oh, bro, you're so... Uh, the other one is the worst composer. <laughs> Alright, anyway, Water Geode is pretty pog. Meh. What did you say, man? Do, do, yeah, do the like emoji, emoji from the emoji movie. Like it's a good composition, I guess, but like I don't find it very compelling in the slightest. Like it's just really basic, and also, uh, I have a rational anger towards Geode on Water Island because it plays in my verse. <laughs> <laughs> You do not realize like how angry that made me when I found out about it. I was like, oh my god, this geode, this monster, I like it a lot. This composition's really cool. I like this monster. And then I never felt more mixed emotions the second that my verse came on. Like with everything else in there, I can just mute them with no problem. With this one, it's like, ooh, do I do it? Do I don't? Ooh. It's fine because at most it was only going to get honorable mention. At most. I mean, no, yeah. not at most. 
Exactly. And Geo could realistically get in the top 15 of Ethereal Island. The top 15 of Ethereal? It's probably going to be a top 15, honestly. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Well, anything else to really say about Geo? Uh, no. There's nothing to say because it's good. That's all there is to it. Well, let's talk about the best monster on Water Island now. Rare Wobox. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, Wobox, <laughs> the best monster. <laughs> Sorry, Gabe. Because he plays in the best verse. The his animation. Anim his animation is super. <laughs> no. Yeah, and he also plays. He has the most complex melody I've ever heard. <laughs> Yet loops twice, not twice, it loops once, and then that's the entire impact on the song at the very end. Fantastic. Listen, here, you know the only thing this this Rare Wax has going for it? What? Um, in the official soundtrack, it duets with Wobox pretty decently. Uh, you're yeah. right. You know, the, the went, like, Wobot worst in monster in the entire song. <laughs> you do it with hey. that monster pretty well. Listen, Rare Wobox, uh, um, does nothing. <laughs> it's boring. The only good thing I can say about it is that it doesn't ruin my verse, because it just plays the castle again. Yeah, the only good thing I can say about Rare Wellbox is that at least it doesn't ruin the song like other islands. Yep. yep. It's the real island. Air Island. Error. 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 No, filing, filing, filing. I'm stupid. Never mind. <laughs> Listen, there's literally nothing to say about this monster. Yeah, it's cause nothing. It's nothing. Listen, let's talk anything. about another nothing monster, a.k.a. literally the one monster I cannot fully remember on this island. Shrub? Shrub! <laughs> I... Shrub is on this island. What does Shrub do on this island? I don't know. Uh, I played in the Reedling verse, and it's like... <clears throat> I don't know. No, I don't know. It's like... <clears throat> okay, you know, I, you know, time uh... to listen to this. Are we gonna? <laughs> oh. Shrub water. I I remember it, but I don't remember it because every time I try to do it, I just do 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 do, 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 do but with shrub. I think that's what it is, though. It's not exactly that. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Wow, that is a dishonorable mention right there. <laughs> if I legitimately cannot remember what a monster does, why is it even in the song? It gets the gold island treatment. <laughs> Bro, Shrub gets the gold island treatment twice now. This is the second round. And it's not going to be the last. Eh, he is memorable on Earth Island. I have no idea what he does on Earth Island. Uh, That's you throwing. Is it throwing oh. when it's shrub? Yes. Fair enough. Listen, here's the thing. Imagine if you tell me, oh, bro, I think shrub gets a dishonorable mention on tribal because I don't remember him. It's like, how are you going to do that to my man's best island? Yeah, but I do remember shrub on tribal. Yeah, exactly. But imagine if you didn't. That doesn't... What? If you forgot it, that doesn't... Listen, all I'm saying... Okay, the point is... This is a dishonorable mention on this island because it does literally nothing, and it's the one monster where I, I, a bet the MSM memory master had to look it up on YouTube to remember what it did on MSM audio. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's enough on Shrub. I can't really rank something I don't know. Uh, well, okay, let's talk about then Cojammer because we basically talked about it earlier. Do, do, do. This is a, this is supposed to be this monster's island. Uh, yeah, boring composition again. 
Shout outs to the first island with long notes toe jammer. Uh cold island. Do mm-hmm. no, that's not old. That's barely long notes. Bro. Listen, long listen, here's the thing. A long note toe jammer is the one where it holds it long enough to give you a headache. <laughs> AKA Bone I mean, not Bone Island. Actually no, Bone Island is technically that. It just they think they made it work. Yeah. Yeah, so aka Bone Island, aka Psychic, aka Water. Yeah, this toe jammer, it's all around. It gives me a headache with Tweedle. That's all there is to say. (laughs) Yeah, toe jammer kind of poopy poo poo on this island. Okay, but let's talk about. The last triple in all of MSM. Is... What? Abed, what? The last triple in all of MSM. Oh, Liebling. I thought you were talking about the last triple on this list. I'm like, Abed, we have like three. <laughs> yeah, we've, with the other ones, I'm deleting them right now. We've never talked about them. We've not. Okay, Reedling time. Um, <laughs> what's there to say? Reedling. Oh, this is Reedling's best island. Oh, uh, no. What do you mean? No, give me a better iron. Earth. Earth? Okay, they're the same. Okay, I will give you that, but they're the, literally the same in terms of impact on the song. This reeling pops off so hard. Doop, 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 doop. Actually, I can't see that. What do you mean it's the same? This one has one track that plays in one verse. That would plays almost the entire song with three and tracks. Reason makes that verse. I mean, I guess, listen, here's the thing. All I'm saying is that That'd be like if you said that. I mean, I don't know. I feel like Earth Reedling is like, even if you think this Reedling is better, I feel like Earth Reedling having three tracks and playing as much as it does makes it hard to contest as the bed re- as the best Reedling. Also, saying they're the same is like saying Air Island Cybop and Space Island Cybop are the same. What? It's not that big of a divide. Okay, it's like if you took Air Island Cybop and were, and compared it to Tribal Island Cybop. Because they're both different than normal Cybop. <laughs> Is that really Anyways, a normal Cybop? Uh, when there's three islands where they're consistent, aka Earth, uh, Gold, uh, what's it called? Earth, Gold, and Fire Haven, then yes. And water, actually. So, Reedling on Water Island. Uh, yeah. It's Reedling. I don't know, to be honest. I must, like, not know Water Island at all, because it took me, like, two minutes to remember what Reedling does on this island. For me, the best way to remember it is that one... Uh, I was interested, in it, but I realized it was completely wrong. And then two, uh, it duets with Potbelly and Sponge. That trio yeah. is Pog. Yeah, it's listen, I'd say it definitely is way more closer a uh, duet with Potbelly because it's just Potbelly plays in the like pretty much the off notes. Dun ba dun ba dun 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 Yes. Yeah. Reedling is good. Honestly, for by Reedling, like for Reedling standards it's good, but at the same time it doesn't feel it feels like Reedling standards should be way higher cuz honestly, I feel like Reedling has a lot of potential and especially I feel like for me Reedling standards is Earth Island for some reason cuz that it's but at the same time that's also peak Reedling. It's it's like Fangler. It's like Fangler with Continent, and it's like it's hard to meet those standards. A second, it's hard to meet those standards. So when it doesn't perfectly meet it, it's hard to call it like an amazing track or anything. That so that's why it's hard for me to really give this all the praises in the world because it's fairly simplistic. Yeah. Do you have anything to add, Ryan? No, I'll take the benefit of the doubt. All right. 
Uh, I'm talking about Potbelly now. Potbelly. Uh, I was going to say Pogbelly, but that doesn't really work. Pop. I gotta say, this pot melody composition is very unique because it does a chromatic approach tone downwards and it's a very good uh, use of pot belly both hands. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I like it. I, I, like, I like it more than Weedling. No, nah, listen. In my mind, Abed's got his trio and then I've got a dream trio, which is pot belly, Weedling, and Sponge. I think those three pair together like perfectly okay me but replace sponge with cybot Ooh, can i actually upgrade mine to a quartet and just have all four of them so basically you like that verse that verse <laughs> well i can't say i like that verse because where does mm, say mm. you like that verse in 2016 yes <laughs> before dips mm -hmm. 2015 is this Potbelly's best island in terms of natural islands? Uh, uh well, let me think. What about Air Island, though? Oh, bro, you're what? right. <laughs> what about Earth Island? We literally made this joke already with Noggin. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was like an hour ago. And, uh, Seth, please tell me you are absolutely serious about uh, Earth Island and Potbelly. I plead the fifth. Listen, honestly, what pot bellies can really contest this though? Plant. Yeah, I guess. I'm saying, but okay, besides plant, I'm trying to think of like other pot bellies that come this close. Like, uh, Cold Island is nothing. Only Air naturals. Island. On even including non naturals. Party. Party. Yeah. Listen, this pot belly is pretty pog. I I really again the use of the two heads is very pog. It's this verse is great in general. Besides the other, besides the exception. Yeah, and a monster we'll be getting to in a second. <laughs> that comes Wait, in. At, that comes in at the second half of that oh, verse. Oh God. I, why did you have to remind me? Why? I was having a good time. Yeah, we still haven't talked about it yet, and it's gonna be a fucking train wreck. Listen, okay, oh, we'll talk about Sponge instead. That? Yeah, let's talk about Sponge, because Sponge is Pug. What about sound effects where it dies? What? In the, in the uh, soundtrack version of Water Island, Sponge is having, like, oxygen asphyxiation, and he's off-key. Yeah, but this isn't the soundtrack. This is Water Island MSM. Yeah, and this one is good. What? That's Listen, okay, here's the thing. This is a cool sponge, but also I don't really care for this sponge because it's like it's like talking about like reeling on any island that's not water or earth because it just kind of Tribal. exists. It just kind of exists. Fair. I like it what it does at the end of the track, though. That high note it plays is really nice. I want to sing it, but I can't whistle. You know what's a credit I have to give to Sponge, though, that I really like? What? Uh, so you saying like, the end of the track, but I like the middle of the track, like, the, the good use of it, like, being a track, and, like, the whole, like, build-up to the second, like, the... Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That. I think Sponge is like you're like Ryan's right about kind of being nothing, but I still appreciate it and I think it's very Sponge good. Sponge isn't a lot on its own, it just works really well with everyone else. Fuck Dandadoo. I hate Dandadoo so much. Oh, we're oh talking my... about Dandy <laughs> Fuck Dandadoo on this island. Oh my god, I hate it so much. It's so bad. It's the worst. <laughs> what are we talking about? Okay, well, I hate it. I could go on for so long about how much I don't like Dan to do on this island. Okay, <sighs> but why, Eben? Okay, so 
it's, it sounds so bad. It's it's like it's like Sponge in the soundtrack, but in game. It sounds like it's, it's on the like, verge of crying. Literally, it sounds like you took Earth Island. No, it's like it's like it's like, it's like you grabbed like you you were like uh, you grabbed water. Uh, Gold Island danced you by the throat as it's cracking. It's, it's like the voice is cracking. It's dying, and you stuffed its head into a tub of water, and it continued to sing for some reason. <laughs> it's the I. I don't. It's hard to say it's the worst. I don't think it's the worst game to do, sadly, because Gold Island exists. But it is so easily second place. It's so bad. I hate it so much, and it ruins my favorite verse. It plays in the outro. It's so bad in the outro. It's so bad in everything. This is like, why, why, why? It also this plays is... in the awful. Uh, it's all around verse. Yeah plays everywhere it does it's all it's like it's like an it's like an annoying insect constantly bothering you and you feel bad at first because you know it doesn't want to hurt you you don't want to kill it but then eventually it gets to the point where like you're like just like looking for anything a newspaper a shoe some uh, the flies water anything to get this thing away from you and it doesn't go away it's invincible it's got vibranium skin you can't get rid of it it's so bad damn we only have four left it's it's very it's a lot of this is listen if if ysm was not personal danzadu would be the number one number two and number three worst I don't know if that would be able to justify that, getting it in the bottom three. I'm going to try, and it definitely is at least getting a dishonorable bunch because fuck the stand to do so much. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have three monsters, or four monsters left. I say we get Pummel out of the way, since that's like the most nothing one on this list. Uh, take everything I said about Dan to do, put a, a dia on it, and that's my thoughts on Pummel. <laughs> it's not even anything, do, even out. Do, 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 Listen, do, do. I don't take kindly to those who play in my favorite verse. But it doesn't even do anything because Shelby. I know. Listen, again, that one is just like personal, personalness. Like, it's not that bad. It's honestly, it's, it's literally nothing. It's like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pummel. supposed to be a build off on what Noggin does, but <laughs> it's hard to notice what either of them do when there's like you know. Shell beat. Yeah. So like it's nothing, but also I'm gonna just out of spite I'm giving it this honorable mention. I could maybe possibly see that only because <laughs> at, besides the outro, I have no idea where it plays. It plays in the intro. It's like sec it's like the second half of the verse. It's like doom 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 with nog and then doom 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 it's pummeled. You gotta like you gotta take heaping pinches of salt with pummel because it does it really matter? No. At the yeah, end of the day, if it's not space, island, or continent, are you really going to notice Pummel? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm not going to notice Pummel at all, but it, listen, I will not notice Pummel. However, it's personal. This one's personal, bro. I gotta I take know, it out. I know. Alright, so we got three left. We got one... Pretty Pog, and we got two... Well, we got one Pog, one mixed bag, and then we got one easily number one on the song. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's... Best. Okay, let's pull the band-aid off and Wallbox. talk about Wallbox. 
So you know what a really calm Dire Dire Ducks inspired song needs? Dubstep. I don't even know what the rhythm it does on this island is. All I know is that it's just a bunch of noise. Here's the thing. It's the... Here's the thing. Basically, imagine the intro... The, you know, like, the overdone intro part on a uh, cold and air island? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that, but instead of, like, the if the first hit was a... Was a so it's like... As, like, and then I forget what it's actually like to be on. I remembered, but then I just forgot right now. Yeah, and then it plays twice. It plays in the it's all around part, and then it plays in the second half of the I'm all right now. Yeah, and that's why I said whenever we were saying, uh, oh, when we were talking about Pop Belly, it was like, oh, bro, the quartet that makes this verse, and then you said, oh, but then there's that thing that comes. In the second half of it, I'm like, oh, bro, there's two things that qualify for that. There's the Andy Dew and Wobox. Yeah, and I was talking about Wobox because fuck Wobox on this island. Oh, I just remember the second part. Uh, It's the blah, blah, do, 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 blah, blah, do, do, do. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know the best part about this Wobox? What? What? Wobox is so complete. <laughs> So completely lazy and boring in every way that it's how people found out Wobox was a bunch of loops because someone found like a real garbage, really shitty, like free game on the App Store that had literally almost exactly Water Island Wobox in one of the parts. That is it was amazing. like a rhythm game. <laughs> So that's what people maybe people realize. Wait, this isn't original in the slightest. It's like the loop. It's like barely edited. Just one barely edited loop. And it sounds really it's like the moment it comes in. It's a wave of noise. That's the only way I can describe it. It's funny because when they introduced the Wobox of the game, I have a feeling. Almost everyone's first reaction was, "Oh shit, this has to go to Water Island." Mm. People were more hopeful back then. Fair, but it, I bet it was still like a, it was like skeptical, hopeful because it's Listen, Water people Island. Were also, people were also dumb back then. Fair back enough. then, it would back. It only came on planet. For all we knew, it wouldn't come out to other islands. Fair enough. Yeah. Easily number one spot. I remember when Weirdos came out. I went back to listen to Water Island. Wallbox came in and it was like a wave of dread just coming over me, just like listening and being like, dear God, this song really does suck. <laughs> when I was listening to Water Island, like before we started this call. I was like, okay, I'm going to take one listen to Water Island just to, like, collect thoughts and all that. And then literally, as I got to the first part with Wobox, I had to literally stop the song and go, holy bejesus, that is horrible. <laughs> like, I, like, physically, like, cringed at how terrible Wobox is in this song. Uh, yeah. I would go as far as to say this is Wobox. Easily worst island. Definitely not. Not even a question. <laughs> Here's the thing: it's one thing to take a song and add a box. It's another thing to take a calm, peaceful song and add a box. Imagine a box on Cloud Island. Listen, here's the thing: it's like it's like the difference between like let's say that there are two nations at war. And then afterwards, one of the nations decides it's just like it's the difference between uh, what's it called, the Allied powers invading uh, Germany, where it's like you know it's to be expected, versus like Germany raiding Poland out of nowhere, and it's just like 
What's going on there? I bet. I didn't know that's that. I bet. Is Wubbox so bad that you made a fucking World War II comparison? I couldn't think of another case of there being, like, something common people versus something that's, like, normal. Alright, well, if that is the comparison, then Octopus is the ally power. Hmm. Now's not a good time to say that. Since they just recently knocked down the statue of Churchill. But yes, Octopus is number one on this island. What? Octopus is number one? I don't know about <laughs> that. Listen, he's number one in our hearts. Because he's. Listen, it's an island where Octopus uh, gets to take shine just right off the bat, which is always a blessing. Until Dipsters. And Blabbit. Uh, <laughs> don't bring that up. Listen, I think Octopus on this island is very good. I don't I know if it's good. necessarily, like, top one good, but I it's do think it's good. probably top three. It's, it's just very basic and not, like, standout worthy to me. Like, it's like, yeah, it's a good octopus. But I like, mean, it's literally just the castle base. Mm, the castle base has different notes. The castle says the base notes, and the octopus does, like, the melody. It's just the same rhythm, yeah. Mm. I, listen, here's the thing. Water island standards. You gotta remember, water island standards... Eh, fair. What else is there, even? <laughs> oh uh, my god, actually, what is there? What? Uh, 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 you, you know, the the quad on this island because you're so impactful. To <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, Octopus is probably, definitely top three. And I'm serious about it probably being number one because I want you to name any other monster. That does that. <laughs> they can do that. Reebling, maybe? <laughs> uh, I mean, Potbelly. Honestly, I don't think any of these monsters are worthy of number one spot. Can we just have... <laughs> uh, listen, we should just do top four. Four, three, and two, and then number one, nobody. No one's that good on this island. I'm down. Dude, I'm, that's giving me ideas. But anyway, uh, Octopus is pretty good. It's basic, but it's good. It's Octopus, and Octopus is pretty much a plus to any island, except for... It's psychic. Water Island. It's salvageable. Yes. Now let's now, talk about I'm... the monster. Controversial thing. Alright, so a lot of people really, really like Shelbeat. I know a lot of people who really like Shelbeat. Logan Peters comes to mind, literally having it as his icon. Uh, I just got a fucking notification. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but Shelby kind of sucks on this island. Mm. It's so easily the worst quad. I'll let Ryan take the handle. Okay, so... You, you you listen to the melodies that are on this island. Very few and far in between, but you listen to the melodies. And you know what comes into your head? Like, oh, bro, this is a blissful, peaceful, wavy song. You know, I'm really vibing with this. You know, it's Water Island, Dire Dire Dox. It's the most, like, you listen to it, and you're in your happy place. You're you're all calm and zen. And then you're like, hold on a minute. Uh, Noggin, uh, Scups, and uh, Shrub, they're in. And it's like a nice environmental, atmospheric percussion. And and it's like, oh, I can kind of vibe with this. It's a nice little, like, accent to what's going on. And then you have Pummel and, uh... Is there any other percussionists on the line? No. Okay, so you have Pummel and, uh, Shelby, which are both the same monster pretty much, because they're both, like... <laughs> you can't notice Pummel in Shelby. So it's like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Shelby comes in instantly, just blasting out the most happy, peppy completely unnervingly un 
fitting percussion ever. And I was like, what happened to the shift of tone in this song? It was nice and peaceful. And now it's like, oh boy, we're underwater. It's like Atlantis, but it's like like a fucking circus. And it's like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, the tracks themselves are decently made, even though they're probably just loops. But it's just the fact that it's, like, not fitting at all for the song, and it didn't have to be this way since it's the quad. They, they could have made it anything. It could have been the glockenspiel that Ryan was talking about earlier. Listen. For me... It has the it's outro. It's... Chip that. Okay, no. So with Shelby on this island, it does have the outro, which I appreciate a lot because it's the outro. But I, I definitely see Ryan's point of it being too much. And also, I, for those who don't know, my mirror water island is just three side bops, like twelve scups, and twelve Shelbys in the castle. <laughs> And I mean, that is the Shelby a lot. And here's something that I've noticed that's like, oh, kind of like terrible. What? Uh, you know, during the funny verse of what's it called? Like the good verse, the song that we get, the, everyone's favorite verse was like the reeling pot yeah, belly. Yeah, yeah. So in that verse, do you guys remember what Shelby does there? Uh, it doesn't it do the. It's like uh, the... I don't know how to explain it. It's like the fast one. Yes, you're right. That's the first half of it. But you forget there's a second track in that verse. Oh. Isn't that that plays in the outro as well? No, it is definitely not. It's it's his thing. So, you know how like one oh, of the big oh, issues we've had... the one with the awful crash <laughs> Yep. So, it does the same awful build-up thing that people that keeps happening for some reason where it builds up and then it undoes undoes build up. So it has a simple <laughs> that's simple. And then the second half of the verse, like it's like it's like it's like imagine the verse is split into four parts. It does one, two, one, two. And the second one is one again, but with a bunch of blaring crashes onto like <laughs> Like, oh my god, that's so much happening. It turns the verse into noise. Uh. And then Fox comes in, and Dandadu comes in, and then the Wordos are playing over top, and by the time it's the second half of the second, it's like, the by the time it's the fourth part, it's just noise. You have Wobox, Dandadu, Shall Be Second Track, the Wordos, it's like, oh my god, what's happening? Well, technically, it's Shall Be Third Track. Second track in that part. Yeah. You know what I mean. But, yeah. Uh, Shelby is not that good. It's a great monster. I'll give you that. Like, the monster itself. It has so much personality. It's funny. It's Zoidberg. Everyone loves it. I can understand why you love it. And if we, if we didn't... Water is a necessary evil to get continent and cave. So, I'll take it. But this is a really bad start for the monster. And now, the ever important part: what's Water Island as a whole like? You know, it didn't take me until like re-listening to it earlier to realize that this is an F-tier song. <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh yeah, it's you know, it's got some terrible moments, but like. There's some things I can appreciate it. No, there's only like two things that I can appreciate about the song, and then everything else is awful, awful, or nothing, nothing. This song is a travesty. Yeah. yeah. I also didn't realize that until like actually sitting down and doing this discussion, how bad Water Island actually is. <sighs> It's really sad because, like, honestly, this island, like, it has so many aspects that, like, well, honestly, just because of what all the other islands are, I can, like, all the other natural islands, what it, due to what everything else has become, I still 
consider water like my second favorite natural island. But like, God, it had so much potential. But like, literally every there's not there's 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 not a single super amazing thing. Everything is like okay at best. Also, one more thing. We've got to talk about the castle. <gasps> oh, right, the castle. Uh I forgot. I'm sorry. Castle. Uh I want I actually said this before we started recording that I wanted to talk about the castle because I really really like the castle on this island. It's got this three is tracks. Yeah, it's got three tracks and all of them are really good. It sets up everything perfectly. It's with the best bass sound in all of MSM, which is the natural bass. Like, oh my god, I don't know how they even intend to ever outdo the natural island bass. It's so good sounding. And it peaks on Water Island. And I just realized... Um, Castle bass is probably going to get number one. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> Olivia. What is your top four? Three monsters, number one Castle bass. Dude... <laughs> Yeah, but that means we have to have a top four for Water Island. Yeah, but that makes it so much funnier. <laughs> That's fair. Anyway. Don't even call it, or just call it a top three, and you say, nah, bro, actually, uh, number zero, but actually it's number one, and everything else gets pushed back a space. It's Castle. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Water Island sucks. It's uh, It's got gosh. a good base, but then everything around it is just like, putting maple syrup on steak. I just um, I just realized literally every single addition to Water Island has actively made it worse. Tipsters. Well, Geode. I... That was very audible, Abed. Yeah, this like... With other islands, they've had a lot of like up and downs. With this island, it's it's been the island happened, it was okay, and it's just all been downhill to the point where like it's not salvageable anymore. This island is honestly a joke. Yeah. Which is why, and I mean, it's a it's a pretty funny joke. It's got it's it's got its flogs. It's like. Water Island, honestly, is inherently funny. It just True. is for some reason. Like, what well, other island? Like, only Water Island is funny when we have a, an hour-long live stream just listening to it on loop. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I forgot we did that. Featuring Mantis Boy. And I think Shimmy was in that. And Drink. Drink was in that. Yeah, there was a lot of people in that, but it was Mantis Boy stream. Yeah. So, but yeah, like, only Water Island has that. Like, what's the funniest single element? Toe Jammer. Like, everything about Water Island is funny, so it only makes sense that the song is a complete joke. <laughs> yeah, it's also got the funny double flog. It's got the funny triple, which is sponge, and then. And scups. And scups. And then. Shelby, it is Shelby. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. So that's water. Any closing remarks? Oh, it has the funniest... It has the funniest seasonal. Oh, shit, that's right. Blabbit. <laughs> I forgot we talked about Blabbit. <laughs> okay, listen. Now, here's the closing remark about a water island. Um... Fuck, there's only six islands left. <laughs> Fuck, we're about to talk about Krillby. Oh, 